guys, so now we're gonna take off the wig. All I have is gotta be glue on, and that's it. So I'm gonna use a wet napkin. <laughs> All I have is a wet napkin, and that's it. So I'm just gonna take this and rub my edges. So you can see right now it's stuck to my head. <laughs> So I can't even take it off, but right here came off guys for water. But it's stuck to my head. So we're just gonna put a little bit of tension on it. Take what my napkin is soaking wet, it's not damped. It's really wet. So you can see everything's kind of coming off. And don't pull because you still wanna have everything take this off, so kind of you see it's getting loose. So this side is completely off. Well, not really. Let me just see. <laughs> see? Oh. <laughs> it's off so what I'm gonna do is with my other napkin I'm just gonna scratch the old gel out scratch out any of the old and excess glue because this is gonna look really nasty and then I'm just gonna use a dryer napkin to just like dampen my face because what I went everywhere <laughs> that's how you take off your wig <laughs> the wig after now I'm going to show you guys how to put on the wig. So the good thing is with this wig, you don't really have to use Gotta Be Glued. So I'm going to show you how to put it on without Gotta Be Glued. So this is it, just sitting here, lovely. And the good thing is when you set your baby hair already with it off of your head, um, they're always going to be set for a little bit, like for about a good week after that. So this, I can just put it back on my head. Um, you see I have my disposable headband in here. And then back here, they give you some adjustable combs back here. So I'm going to literally just plop this on my head again. Okay. All right, so this is how it looks. my real hair right here stick that underneath my hair is still wet with water so but like yeah so this is how it's that easy to put on that all right so you guys are probably wondering like how did I put my wig on without you gotta be glued I kind of just used water <laughs> I kind of just used the excess water from this and just squeezed it on my edges and this is water holding my the the edges down. I, I didn't put any got any excess gotta be glued on. So I guess it's the old glue that was already on the gel that turned slimy plus the water from the um napkins and I just squeeze it on and that's how it's swooping. But I didn't put any gotta be glued. You can see I can literally <laughs> lift it up like I didn't put any gotta be glued down, but I could have, but I didn't. Um, Cause I didn't feel like it. Sometimes, like sometimes when I'm doing my wigs on my own, like with no camera or anything, I come up with some creative ways to keep my wig down. Cause I cannot deal with always using gotta be glued. Sometimes I just want to put it on so I can take it off at night. So I just do water. So this is how I put the wig back on, and it still looks super natural and cute. So this is a full lace wig. So that means you can do like cornrows, you can do like low ponytails, high ponytails. And um, for my past videos, you guys know, I'm not showing you guys the back because I can't perfect it, but not yet. I can't perfect it. I'm still working on it. But um, for this video, I didn't do a high ponytail. I kind of just did a low ponytail, which I've kind of been rocking for the last couple of days. I curled it, I cut it, and kind of layered it a little bit. Yes, yeah, so this wig is from Diva Lace Wigs. I'll have all their specs and information for the wig right here in the video and then I'll have it also down below and I find that with a lot of full lace wigs they make the the frontal so full I guess I guess because there's no tracks in it and the hair has to be full somewhere 
the only thing is it takes a longer time to lay it down flat so I did bleach the knots I didn't bleach the knots for the entire inside I just did it for the front like from the middle part of my head on forward and then I did have to tweeze the front to make it more natural to my liking and then hmm that was it but to flatten this frontal this wig took a whole lot of work so, uh, yeah but the hair was a little tangly so that wasn't really um, that was kind of annoying for me I don't know I have I had to work with this wig to like this wig it wasn't the wig that I could take out the box and put it directly on my head like I had to work do a lot of work to make it be where it's at right now okay so this is the wig and a point <laughs> you can see this is the wig and a ponytail when I first got the wig, I was like, I didn't. I was wearing it in the middle part. So for everyone that follows me on Snapchat and Instagram, you've seen it in the middle part. And I wasn't really feeling it like that. I don't, I don't know, not on me. So for Christmas, so for Christmas, I decided to put it in the side part and kind of curve it a little bit. Um, so on my wigs and my weaves and everything, I never actually put concealer or foundation on any of my wigs because I never need to. But for this wig, I actually did do, um, I did put con concealer on it. I used the LA Pro Girl in the color Warm Beige, I believe it was. And I just put it on here.